What is the crack, ladies and gentlemen? It's Giveaway here with another episode of Project Zomboid. Hey, How's everyone doing? Hope you're all having a fantastic week. We're going to continue our reading marathon here now at the minute. Our, our guy is probably going to start going a little bit stir crazy here just with the excessive amount of time that we're spending inside here. But I, I feel like it's just important that we get these multipliers up. Fuck, man. I hate that when they fucking start shooting off shots there in the background like that. I feel like it's important we start getting our multipliers rolling so we can start expediting the process of developing our character. Um, we're doing quite well in terms of the combat end of things and stuff. Like, we've been knocking the shit out of zombies left, right, and center. And we found a couple of the significant books that we needed in order to bridge the gap into the next area. What we might do today, or just for this evening, to have a handy little one, because we have kind of fucked up our body clock a little bit, is do a bit of disassembly of stuff that's floating in and around the area. And start getting some raw resources, so that way we can start building a couple of things that we need. And also... Start working our way through our construction. Unlikely to be successful in our disassembly of these things, but that's also okay. Table. So as you can see, unsuccessful in nearly every aspect of it here, but we're we're actually progressing through the the level quite quick. We got a plank out of all of that. Which, you know, that's neat. Get rid of the green comfy couch. We will start to get more and more successful as we level up with the uh, return of resources. It's perfectly fine. So what we'll do then is, is we will pick up the scrap wood. The nails will go in the backpack. And the plank can go here as well. And I will create a pile for the planks here. And the nails can all go there. The planks. Just that one in particular, even. Uh, fuck it, grab all of this shit. Probably hurting our guy a little bit here just doing this, but it's it's whatever. We're we're doing it for reasons. Drop the We can leave our little pile of scrap wood in here. For firewood. Use that like a little shed, you know? Alright, that was good. And look, we got our thing up to 115. Uh which is awesome. There's a bunch of shit that we can do here. There's also an office next door that has a bunch of shit that we can do too. Let's just keep working our way through all of this stuff. We might go to like half 12. And uh, maybe with a bit of luck. We'll be able to sleep. It would also be nice to get a few more planks. Uh, we don't really want screws. The planks would be far more useful. Let's bring these over here. We'll do that table there next. So the planks I might actually dump here. And you will see soon dot com why nails stick them there as well screws we can bring inside we'll figure out a use for you soon it's yes, nails thanks trying to exhaust our guy so that way he sleeps a little bit better we might just do a fast sleep here since we've just been hammering away at shit in maybe an hour or so and try and just get our guy to Get a bit of rest. Oh yeah, we got another plank. Nice. We'll grab it on the way back. Looking at the construction, it is tuning up there fairly fast. Oh 
on, bit of success, nice. Keep it rolling. Probably up near, this will bring us up near 200 I'd say. Yeah, 190, we're getting there. Pick up that TV and then place her down there. And then we can disassemble that table that it was on. Again, some partial successes. Um, we'll grab all of this stuff. And you'll see what my thinking is now momentarily. Nails, get the plank. Our dude is feeling a little bit sad. Oh yeah, because we've been just inside. I think the longer you spend inside, the more likely you are to like start developing fucking mental health type issues there. But it looks at things and we'll grab this plank then as well. Yeah, we've not done anything fun like all day. So now our dude is like, oh, I feel sad. We can get on top of that though. That's easily rectified. A nice meal would be a good start. Good decent amount of nails there now. The plank numbers are starting to come up. Let's make our dude a nice bite to eat. That will assuredly make him feel better. I don't know. Great salad. Some carrots. We get a nice bit of variety here now. Alright. As in, we will have carrot and watermelon. Oh, we appear to have finished it off. Nice little meal here now, just a snack on. And then we'll probably go for an L snooze. We might read a magazine or something to make our guy happy. That should have put a dent in a lot of that, what he was going on in his head there now. We don't really need stress reduction. It's more unhappiness and boredom. Like a magazine, I think, is what we need. Something just to read. Something brainless, like... Or, oh, yeah, yeah, that's perfect. Yeah, we feel better about life. I think it consumes it, it does, yeah. So we don't even have to worry about getting rid of it. Nice. There was a lot of time spent indoors. Let's hit the hay, try and get as much sleep as we can. This will be a double day episode. We should wake up at some stage here. Okay, we've corrected our body clock now. We can do maybe a proper day's work. We don't want to be inside for too long because our dude is starting to get fucked off. Let's get out of the building. Let's do something a little bit different. Go out and do a little bit of foraging. Or just a little bit of fighting. A little bit of fighting. That's a good way of getting out of the boredom. Or our son. Guts. Dead. As a fucking dodo. But hey, look, we're not bored anymore. This is Zed up here with a particularly stylish looking hat. Clear him out. If you're gonna go out, go out looking good, you know? We pop our head in somewhere here. Oh, oh my! This looks good. This is Ed right outside. Me. I want to know what's here. That made a lot of noise. Jeffrey! Jeffrey, come here! Jeffrey! Jeeves! You little bald-headed prick! He's not bald at all, why am I even calling him bald? 
Right, well, this will do war wonders for our entertainment. That's it. You can read a magazine, or you can go out and smash the skull in of the undead. Either, either. You won't be bored. Our guy obviously just doesn't like doing construction related things. I feel you, dude. I feel you. It's the same in real life. I don't. I, is it though? Oh, you fucking cunt. You fucking cunt. There you go. Good night. Where is that one? There. Nothing for us. We're gonna go around the. Oh, why are you all in here? Let's get rid of these. Nice. Is this guy topless? Respect it, dude. That's definitely the, the meta for zombie survival. Thanks. Nice. Let's see if there are any more of his colleagues just after making their way in here. No, there's a few floating around here, though. We should deal with all of these, really. Yeah, we should. And then we'll go back and check that shop out. That had a huge fucking storeroom, man. I have a bet that that is going to be full of fucking goodies that we want. <laughs> the carnage, like. Where is Gibbo staying? Oh, definitely not the building surrounded by the dead. Something pulled these guys out of the buildings that they were in. Uh, one of the gunshots, I'd say. See, we're a big dude, because we are uh, a lumberjack. So when we hit people, we hit them hard. And as we get better and better with this fucking weapon, we're going to do more and more damage to them. So it is just worth being conscious of it. Duffel bag carrying a fucking blue pen. Really? Really? Why would you bother? Why would you bother? Town Hall is here. Let's knock the old tax woman out. There you go. Best of luck, Barbara. I never did like giving you 21%. No. Knock this fucking power rag out either. As a public servant, I, I quite enjoy being able to get paid a wage. So I suppose your tax money comes from that, so I can't really whinge about it. You win this round, Barbara. You win this round. Our guy is kind of freaking out. You good? Where are they? I don't like this out either. It's in this building here. That's fine. I'm willing to ignore that. I want to go back to my original discovery of what the fuck is going on in here. What is all this shit? Oh my god! Oh my god! Look at the books. Is this a bookshop? Oh my god. Everything is in here that we would need. Fuck, if I can pick up these boxes? Did I read this? I did. This is an awesome place. What? It's like a, it is a bookshop. Is it a bookshop? I think we picked that up already. This is a bookshop. Every book is in here. Dude. Dude. Huh. Oh my god, that's awesome. Everything is fucking here, like, oh. Like, we might have to go rooting for it, but it's probably in there, you know? Whatever. Clearing out the shops is definitely the way, man. Can I hop over this? No. 
Dude's hungry. We should be conscious of that. What are these things? Is this like a bank? What are these look like post? Post office? Maybe? We might go over to Seahorse Coffee here and see if there's that nice and juicy for us to pick up. They're zombies, anyway. There's only a couple of zombies, though. Let's make a little bit of noise here. Get these fellas out here. Okay, got to pull a quick one there. We may have bit off more than we can chew here. Let's retreat from Seahorse. Our zombies coming in. Oh wow. I didn't mean what I said about the tax, I swear. I love taxes. Taxes are the best things I've ever had. Give me more. <laughs> Fucking tax my ass. Like, Jesus Christ. Yeah, filthy. Fucking politician cunts. Right. Fucking deadly. Holy Jesus. Get that over there. Put that into the backpack. What are you doing, you fucking idiot? Now, yeah, here we go. Class. Right. I just wanted to go into the coffee shop. No alarm. Great. Because I figured they'd have snacks here. That I could... But the sugar is out on the table, man. The sugar is out. That's so cool. Oh, all this shit is... Rotten? I figured there'd be something here for us now. Keep eating the L. The vegetables and fruit here, you know. Not much in that now, what we just ate, but look. Not much is better than nothing. We'll drink all of that there as well. We'll grab the margarine. We'll take that back. It's a nice little condiment. Start working our way through that. Put a little dent in our situation. Bottle of bleach. Coffee machine ain't got nothing in it. There's zombies outside there. We just need to be conscious of that. We'll actually go through the bother of creating a salad with it. Because it will just... It'll increase our cooking. Like, it's got to be the same amount of calories. But the only difference is, is we used a knife and chopped it up a little bit. And then... We got more benefits out of it. More margarine. I think we can just eat pie dough. Empty bucket. I'm hearing things moving, which is making me think we should move. We haven't secured the buildings to the left and right of us, and I, I think they're full of Zeds. We also haven't checked this building here. Let's go in and have a look and see what's in it. Toolbox. Oh, this is like tools and stuff. Oh, this is tools and stuff. Box of nails, there's a rope. <laughs> a machete. 
this was a nice little find. I seen that when we first came in here, and I figured this might be a a work stuff store. Oh, what? Another fucking crowbar? Because I'm sure ours is on its last legs. We no, not even, man. It's going strong, actually. You know, I'm not even going to grab this stuff. We'll just fucking leave it here for now. We know it's here. We can come back and we can get it. We don't need it immediately. Nice. Really fucking nice. What do we do, folks? What do we do? I think we continue our project of disassembly. Keep leveling up our construction now that we're not being a whingy little fucking tow rag about it. Put the nails in the backpack. Uh, yeah. Although we now have an abundance of nails, so I'm not really worried about getting them. More the planks. The planks are a hard thing to get. Throw the magazines in here. Get the bore. The margarine into the fridge for future eating. Condiments can just make. Oh, we have actual stuff here. Defrost this. Defrost this as well. Eat the fresh stuff, you know. This is the. The power is gonna go any day now, so, like, I, I'm not really worried about freezing things because we don't have a generator, and if I saw a generator, I can't remember where I saw it. Still stuff here that we can disassemble. Why fancy chair? If I can get like a couple of levels just out of disassembly, we're doing good. Nothing there. There's an old table here for us. Philosophical quotes by Rumi. Well, as a man who studied philosophy, I have no idea who Rumi is. <laughs> Shit. Uh, somebody died, or is, might be about to. But either way, they've probably caused me a bit of hassle. Gunshots and that move zombies. And when zombies move, they come into contact with us. The game does it to stop you, like, not having zombies in your area, you know what I mean? Like, it, it wants you to encounter zombies. That's the whole point. But you know what we might do now? just see if we can do that just here yeah and then do another one here will this be will this be enough I wonder So there is a knack for blocking zombies. If you, yeah, can you not do that? You can do this one here, but he seems to be struggling with the other one. We might have to disassemble this one. I 
already want to do it. Ah, fuck. We wasted some resources there because I, I, I accidentally built on the wrong side. So the zombie shouldn't be able to pathfind over that. We might hold off then for a minute or two and go get more planks since I wasted some stuff. Like an idiot, but we have significant enough carpentry now that we can uh, we can build the crates, which is what I wanted to achieve. And I reckon we'll probably get the rest out of being in here. Because there was a ton of stuff in here that we could disassemble. Okay, let's pick up this item. Chuck that. Like, I don't know, anywhere. Fucking who cares? Now, disassemble this. Do we get any wood? We got a bunch of nails. <laughs> Didn't get any wood, though. Not good. Also, let's fill up our empty bottle. Let's fill our water bottle and let us we ourselves drink. Throw all of that on the floor. Dude's getting bored, conscious of that, don't want to upset him too much. Can I not do the chair? Draw all that shit on the deck. Disassemble the office desk. We got another plank out of it. There's a few nails in there. We'll make our way back towards the the base. We have a bit of weight on us here, actually, as well. Shouldn't be sprinting here. And make too much fucking noise. Throw the planks on the deck here. Chuck the nails out then as well. We might go make a bite to eat. We might look for a fucking... We might need the roasting pan here now. Oh, I did not realize that we had ice cream. Let's eat that. Let's grab all of this. Grab all of that. Gardening can spray. Oh, that's huge, dude. Another sewing kit. Grab this. Grab that. Empty jar. They're rare. Grab all of this stuff. Let's start concentrating our resources, you know what I mean? Like, let's start getting on the ball with this sort of stuff. I don't like how our guy is getting bored so fucking quick though, that's that's annoying me. We might get some rags on the go as well. And uh, start cleaning them. Do you know what are good for planks? The old doors actually, disassemble on the doors. Alright, canned goods were here, but we'll do the we'll do the odd stuff first. Oysters, sausage, everything else won't be going stale anytime soon. Just control clicking, moving things across. 
Empty jar there. We'll place this up at the other one. Excellent. Go over here to the dump chest. Throw that in. Can we place this somewhere? Potentially. I don't know if I'll necessarily use it immediately, but it's uh, device options. Oh, it has the automated. That's nice. Yeah, turn it on there. Turn down the volume. Tune that in. It's every hour on the hour. We'll turn it off for now. We've obviously missed it. There's a muffin tray in here. Let's throw the cooking pot on this in. And let's get cooking. Do something just to entertain ourselves just a little bit. Since our dude is going to start whinging about it. And then we can throw the spray can into the useful department of items. Nice. Okay, so we'll stand here. Highlight the oven. We'll grab it. Walk over here to the fridge. Right click this. And we'll create a roast from random vegetables. Doesn't really matter what. Well, I think the only option we had was corn. <laughs> We'll add the avocado just to get rid of it because avocados go stale real quick. I don't know if that will apply here. We'll add the chicken. This is going to be a decent meal now. Add a fucking potato into it. Like this is a a mighty meal, as it were. We'll add more chicken into it. Fuck it. Let's let's. This this is gonna feed us for a while. And also deal with boredom and unhappiness and things of that nature and sort. Lovely old roast dinner here. Turn that on. We'll run down here and we'll grab an old magazine. It's gonna be Lane's auto manual. Okay. She's cooking away there now. We're gonna read that. We're gonna watch this like a hawk. Double time it. Finished lanes thing. We'll speed her up. Go into the oven. Turn that off. She's cooked. And eat all of that. And that's going to help our guy feel much better about life. Excellent. Make sure that that shit is turned off. Put this into the fridge. Because that's really where it matters take this magazine chuck on the deck in our pile of weird magazines that we have consumed and let's just start working our way through a couple of these read that and read that only takes a second then it'll stop us grabbing multiples of them like there. Like there's a bunch of magazines that we just don't fucking need multiples of. Like why, why do I have four of the same fucking magazine? Like it's give yeah, well, up, come on. Oh well three of them. It's volume four, but you know what I mean. But now all of those are red, so now we get the benefits of having read all of them, so that's that's all in our brain now. Um the next thing that I need to start working on Cooking we don't need. Farming could be a good one though. And mechanics could be too. Let's grab the two of these. We'll start reading farming and we'll get that knocked out. It's not desperate that we need it right now, but it's gonna be something that's gonna be good to get done. Oh, catch the radio broadcast is what we'll do. Shit, 
Should be every hour on the hour. Oh, this might help a little bit with boredom. You can expect clear skies, average temperatures, yak, yak, yak. That's all wonderful and great. I think we can put a disc into this. Yeah. Okay. Didn't really give us much information there. Hmm, we might read until 10 o'clock. It's only a small book anyway, and we're not going to really need to absolutely devour it just yet. I think we're going to call it a day there, folks. That was an extra long one there now. Uh, on the next episode, we are going to try and secure the building that we're in, at least the top side. Now, the thing is, is even if zombies do get up there, they're going to be bottlenecked there. They're not going to be able to get by, and we'll be able to use the firearms to kill them. The firearms will draw more zombies in, but they're not going to be able to path over there, or at least they shouldn't be able to. Now, the flip side of that as well is, is we're going to have to climb over that every day. And it is likely that we will suffer injuries as a result. But we can then use that to level our first aid. Uh, this is Big Aware, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed watching this video, please leave a like down below and possibly consider subscribing to the channel. If you have any other comments, questions, concerns about anything that happened in this video, leave it down below in the comment section. I'll go back and see you again. Take care, honey. Bye, honey.